So our final demo of the night is going to be from last year's winners, actually. You may remember this group from last year. They had Store Trek last year, which was a 3D visualization going into a store. This year, they're wearing yellow. Not everyone can wear yellow. Um, and basically, what we're going to do is we're going to see their thing, which is called here Hannah Trek, obviously carrying on with the Star Trek theme. And what we're going to see here is an example of how you can use... Oh, sorry, no, it's called Hannah Deck. Sorry, we've got it wrong, you know, it's big enough behind me. Um, and what we're going to see is how we can use Hannah in order to get information from a real customer in the UK. That's a little island over in Europe where lots of nice people are from. Actually use this and can actually benefit from SAP Hannah. So without further ado, are you ready, gentlemen? Yes, we're ready. Six minutes on the clock, off you go. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Over the next six minutes, we would like to show you a data analysis tool that's going to take us to the, uh, the next generation. And we call it the HANA Deck. Now, here's the scenario. We've been working with a company which is responsible for maintaining all of the electricity lines and the transmission stations across the entire UK. We've loaded data from these electricity lines and stations into a HANA cloud platform that is then monitoring these assets. We've been able to put sensors on all of the transmission towers across the UK, and there are 23,000 of these sensors. Now, these are actually sending information to HANA every two seconds, which means we're generating 345 billion rows of data each year. Now, the problem we're trying to solve, it was something as crucial as power. How can we sift through th hundreds of millions, hundreds of billions of rows of data and only see the information that we need that is important to us? Well, we think Hanadec could be the answer. So, uh, Will, why don't you tell us how it works? So what we've got here, we've got a modified Oculus Rift. We've got two super fast RGB cameras on the front. We've also got a leap motion, and I'm being tracked by Microsoft Connect. So this is kind of a whole virtual reality headset. So I think we're ready. I'll, uh, I'll just pop it on. Now, what you're going to see on the big screens is exactly what Will is seeing in his Oculus Rift, but he's seeing it in 3D. So let's put you in the environment. Are you ready, Will? Here we go. I'm ready. Environment stabilizing. So now Welcome Will is to the Hannah deck. Now Will is actually inside the Hannah deck. Can you see your hands okay? So his hands are being tracked by the leap motion we've custom fitted to the front, and the Connect is tracking his movement, so he's actually able to walk around inside the Hannah deck. Now I'm going to load some data, so I'm about to make the floor disappear. Don't get disorientated, Will. Whoa. Now, what you see here is a map of the United Kingdom, on top of which we've mapped the entire electricity national grid. Now, if Will was an engineer and he wanted to examine a particular electricity line, he could just reach out and grab it. And there we can see a magnification of the line. He's able to look at the individual towers, which are represented by the little dots, just by making a swiping motion with his hand. Now, if he wants to look at one of them, he just reaches out and touches it, and we see the real power of the HANA deck. Because now Will is inside a 3D virtual world, and he can walk around and have a look at this world. So he could see all the way down to the next tower. He could walk there if he wanted to, but it might take a little bit of time. Now, because we've got sensors on the towers, we're able to accurately represent the uh, atmospheric conditions. Um, and if Will wants to get a bit more information about the tower, all he's going to do is reach out and touch the spinning disk, and we're going to see some information about the tower, such as uh, the humidity, the temperature, uh, or even the pressure. Now, I said before that we have sensors which are monitoring all of this information. And the real power of the HANA deck is it tells you the information you need to know when you need to know it by sifting through billions of rows of data. I've got here one of the custom sensors we've made. And say, for example, uh, the humidity went up in the air. That would immediately set off an alarm. The Hanadec environment has sifted through billions of rows of data and told Will that there's a problem with a remote power station. So he's going to make a swiping motion with his hand, and he should then fly to the next tower. Right, here he goes. Now, the good thing about the Hanadec is he's not going to have to spend hours in the car. He's going to fly there. Will, how does it feel to fly in there? This is amazing. <laughs> Now, he's actually flown hundreds of miles, but of course he's only done it in the HANA deck uh, environment, and that's possibly saved us mil uh, hundreds of pounds. We have our own avatars, so Will's decided he's going to look like this in the HANA deck. There he is. Give us a wave. Yes. 
Iron Man here for the national electricity grid. Now, please notice that the environment's changed. That's because the sensors are telling us what the environment looks like, so that we've, uh, we've represented that. And as an experienced engineer might know, the humidity might go up if it's raining. So why don't you uh, investigate, see what the problem is? OK, I'll uh, just open that up. Uh, it looks like, it's almost like something's happened to our sensor on this tower. Uh, we'll drill into the humidity. It's about 81, which is quite high. Uh, I'll set a reminder. Uh, two hours should be enough, I think. I'll just uh, tap that there. OK, done. Great. So uh, Will's just made the decision that he's going to come back and check on the tower in a couple of hours. Now, as Will can have a little explore and have a look around the environment, he can walk around. Uh, one of the fantastic applications of this is we've used it for the electricity grid, but we can load anything we want into the HANA deck. I mean, imagine we could use it for a warehousing solution, or we could use it perhaps in manufacturing, or maybe we could use it to put people where it might be a little bit dangerous to go, whether that's in a factory or a remote location. So that's about it. Let's bring you back to reality. Here we go. Restoring reality. He's back in the loading bay, and now he's going to come back to reality. Reality restored. Welcome back, Will. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We're sifting through hundreds of billions of rows of data. We're presenting it in a new visual way, in an environment that Will can walk around. And he's also using gestures to control all of the information that's coming from a HANA Cloud instance. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed it. And come to the sessions tomorrow. We'd love you guys to try it out.